I began by opening a photo in Painter. You can use mine, which you'll find on the DVD, or you can use one of yours. Then I chose File Clone and File Save As to name the new painting. I typed a name and saved in Painter's native RIF format. By the way, you can't open Painter RIF files in Photoshop. Save in TIFF or PSD if you will want to open the file in Photoshop. Click Save, and now you have your original photo and a clone of it, which will be your painting. I looked at the color wheel next to the photo and decided on a complementary color scheme of orange and blue, which, as you saw earlier, includes all the tones within those colors. I chose the chalks, square chalk variant, zoomed up on the image using the navigator. By the way, this is Painter 12. In Painter 10 and 11, the slider is in the image window's lower left-hand corner. I clicked Clone Color in the Colors palette to pick up the colors from the photo and began to paint in the clone, creating an underpainting, which is simply a first coat of paint. Painting with the chalk had the effect of blending out details, which results in making the image look painterly. I eliminated details even more by turning the chalk into a blender by turning down the reset slider and turning up the bleed slider in the property bar and painting. I chose the artist's impressionist variant raised the size slider and lowered the reset slider and painted to produce the look of waves in the water and texture in the sand. I lowered the size slider and raised the resaturation slider and added color in the sand with the artist's impressionist brush. <laughs> 